Hey guys, welcome to ET Land. Today I'm going to talk about how to homebrew your old 3DS and 2DS. So this tutorial is only applicable to those who are using old 3DS and 2DS. If you are having a new 3DS or 2DS, please go to the tutorial that I have listed in the description box or click the label at the right top corner. Before I begin this tutorial, there are a few things I want you to bear in mind first of all this is only for educational purpose and second please take your own risk of doing this and third please consider to subscribe to my channel if you find this helpful and i also have a coffee page if you want to support the development of my channel you can go there and buy me a coffee okay so to begin with let's talk about the things you need so the first thing is very obvious, you have to have an old Nintendo 3DS or 3DS XL, LL or 2DS. But remember, it has to be never being modded. You also need a computer running Windows, a digital or physical copy of Mario Kart 7, and finally a SD card. And of course you need a SD card reader if your PC cannot read SD card directly. Regarding the SD card, you can use the SD card that came with your device or you can buy a new one. So you can either buy a new SD card or buy a micro SD card that comes with a SD card adapter so that you can use that adapter to use it in your device. Any SD card will work but I suggest you to buy a bigger SD card or bigger micro SD card so that you can store more things on your device. For example, you can also store more games for emulation and 3DS as well as some movies and songs. Okay, then here comes the first section, preparation for the SD card. If you are using the SD card that came with your 3DS or if you do not carry the data on your old SD card, you don't have to follow this section. However, if you are upgrading your SD card to a larger one, please back up all the files by following the step that I'm going to talk about. First, turn off your system and remove your SD card, then insert it to your computer. Once it's open, you will see a Nintendo 3DS folder. If you have ever taken any photos, you will also see a DCIM folder. Create a new folder and name it something that you'll remember, for example, Nintendo 3DS Backup. Drag and drop everything into your backup folder. Remove your stock SD card from PC. Insert the SD card that you're going to upgrade to your PC. Download the files required to mod all 3DS and 2DS zipped from my Kofi page in the description box. Unzip it and go to preparation for SD card. Inside the folder, we have fat32format.exe and run it to format our SD card. Make sure to do this if you are using a larger size of SD card or micro SD cards because 3DS and 2DS only runs well on fat32. We are using this software because Windows does not allow us to format a larger size of card into FAT32 directly. Drag and drop your backup 3DS folder onto your new SD card and you should copy everything over. Now let's transfer the homebrew files to our SD card. If you are using the stock SD card, you should connect it to your computer now. Now open again the files required to mod all 3DS and 2DS folder that you should have downloaded earlier and then go to transferring the necessary homebrew files. Drag and drop all the files inside the old 3DS boot nice drive folder onto your new SD card root. Drag and drop the manual hacks 67 installer.3dsx file to your 3DS folder on your new SD card. Your SD card should look like this now. Open the old 3DS folder in menu hash 67 and choose the corresponding region of your 3DS. Let's do USA as an example and let's click into the USA folder. Select 11.17 plus. Drag and drop the launcher that file onto your root of your SD card. Now go into your 3DS folder, there should be a single folder with a long name of characters. This is an ID code assigned to every 3DS SD card. And now copy this ID and paste it to a notepad for later use. If there are two long IDs folder in the 3DS folder, rename it to O and then eject your SD card. 
Put back your SD card to your system and then turn it on. Wait till it finishes creating the essential files and then turn it off again. Remove the SD card and place it back to your computer. Copy and save the newly generated ID folder name and then delete the new Nintendo 3DS folder and then rename the old folder back to Nintendo 3DS. Make sure the S are in capital letters. Put back your SD card to the system and then turn it on. So that's pretty much for preparing our SD card and let's start homebrewing our device. Go to your friend list. If you do not have a me, follow the instruction of the prompt to create on me maker. Once the me has been created, go back to the friend list. You can create your me either way. Follow the instructions. Once you have completed the steps, you should be able to see your friend code. Go back to your computer and open the brute force movable link. Enter your friend code in the first field. Copy and paste the ID we saved in the notepad previously into the field for your ID. Press go to generate a 3DS friend code. It will take some time to generate. Return to the friend list and click the orange smile and then click internet to register a friend from internet. Enter the friend code stated on brute force movable. The account should be named already but if it asks you, just name it whatever. Once the friend has been registered, check the brute force movable site again, it should take some time to process. Download the movable.sed generated from the brute force movable site onto your computer. Move on to the Kart-7 section, it is a method that tweaks the Mario Kart save data on your SD card and this modification grants you access to the homebrew launcher while keeping all your data safe. Open Mario Kart 7, please update it to the latest version 1.2 if you haven't updated. This tutorial is not going to work on the previous version. Once the game has loaded, tap Mario Kart channel at the bottom and press next then press OK to the prompts if there are any. Once it's loaded, tap the Street Pass Lit button and press OK. Press Home to pause the game. Disable wireless connections by navigating to the Home menu settings in the top left and then turn the wireless communication off. Power off your console. Insert your SD card into your computer. Drag and drop your movable SED file to the resource folder of the release beta for Windows MK7 for 1.2 folder. Make sure the file name is exactly movable SED. Open the backup folder inside the release beta MK7. Double click the backup.bat file corresponding to your console's region. If you are unsure of your console region, you can check your system settings. If you get a message from Windows Defender, click More Info and then click Run Anyway, then press any key to continue. If the backup was successful, you should see a new folder appear. Exit the folder and click on the bat file that corresponds to your console's region and allow it to run. Press any key to continue. Remove your SD card from computer and put it into your system. Power on your console and open Mario Kart 7. Tap the Mario Kart channel button on the bottom. Tap the Street Pass List button on the bottom of the screen. Press A button until you see the bottom screen change to a bunch of different colors. If instead 3DS crashes, just reboot it and try again. If there is no color change at the bottom screen, please try to change your system's language and try it again. If everything was successful, your 3DS should have put it into the 3DS OP exploit injector. Press Y button and D-pad down to install menu hack 67. The console will automatically power off. Power on your console again. Tap the home menu settings icon in the top left of the bottom screen. If the console freezes for a while and then crashes, make sure that you have the launcher dot that on the root of your SD card. If you have done everything correctly, the console will boot into the homebrew launcher. Tap names fact from the list if your console freezes by any chance, then try running menu hacks again by rebooting your system and tapping on the home menu setting buttons. 
Input the key combo given on the top screen to load with nice drap. Once it is completed, press A to reboot your console and now it should boot into Luma 3DS configuration menu. Press Start to save and reboot. The console will boot into Luma 3DS by default. If your console is booted into home menu, then it is running custom firmware. Luma 3DS looks exactly the same as the normal home menu. Launch Dino Play and wait until you see the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo DS buttons. Press left shoulder D-pad down and select all at the same time to open Rosalina menu. Select miscellaneous option. Select switch the XP title to the current app. Press speed to continue. Press B to return to the Rosalina main menu. Press B to exit the Rosalina menu. Press home to pause download play. Press close button to close the download play. Launch download play and your console should boot into the homebrew launcher. Launch the menu hex 67 installer from the list. Select Remove Menu Hack 67. Press A button to exit to the menu when it is done. Once it goes back to the homebrew launcher, press left shoulder, D-pad down, and select simultaneously to reopen the Rosalina menu. Go to Miscellaneous Options, scroll down to Dump DSP Firmware, and press A to select it. Press B. Scroll up to Notify User Time Offset. Press A to select it. Press B again to exit. Press B twice and press Home to pause the download play. Press the Close button to close the download play. You can re-enable the wireless connection on your device now. Now let's move on to the finalization section. Power off your system. Hold Start and the Power button at the same time to launch God Mode 9. Use the volume slider to increase brightness. If it asks you to create an essential file to backup, press A twice, and then it will complete. Press A and set the date and time if it asks you to set the RTC date and time. Once you're finished, press A to continue. Press Home button to show the action menu. Select Scripts and then select Finalize. Press A twice. Enter the button combination on screen. The process will then begin. This will back up your system and install all the essential apps. Press A to power off the device once the process is completed. Insert your SD card into your computer. Open the GM9 folder. Create a backup folder on your computer. Drag and drop everything from the out folder to your backups folder. Once it is finished copying, you can delete everything in the out folder. You may also delete the launcher that file on the root of your SD card, the menu hacks installer file, as well as the name specs folder. Now let's look at how to restore the save data. To restore the Mario Kart 7 save data, go back to release bat A4 Windows MK7 for 1.2 folder, go into backup folder, double click the restore band file corresponding to your console's region, and then press any key to continue. Eject your SD card from PC and then reinsert it to your console. Congratulations, your Nintendo 3DS or 2DS is fully modded and you can unwrap all the homebrew applications on your home menu. So that's pretty much about today's tutorial. I will have a bunch of tutorials that are related to 3DS, so if you are interested in that, please stay tuned. If you are looking for a tutorial to mod your new Nintendo 3DS or 2DS, you can go to the link in the description box. I hope this tutorial will help you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!